Hey Wednesday here, and welcome to Contractors Showdown Overview. It's kinda crazy how the original game really came through with the constant updates and the developers taking care of it over the course of a couple years here. I still remember it being very rough around the edges and then I decided to do some kind of redemption overview videos which I still need to make more because over time some games do change from the launch day and they just deserve a second chance and this series at this point is a proof that it can get better and the project will be turned around with enough hard work. So Contractors Showdown is an action battle royale game where a total number of 60 players gets thrown into the vast and detailed 16 square kilometer map to engage in the intense combat scenarios and prove that you have the chops to get on top. This is essentially a spin-off or a sideway project, transforming the original mechanics and building them on top with some battle royale flair converted into a big scale. I don't have like a lot of experience of contractors, but I do know its perks and playing Showdown, you definitely notice that it came from the same dev studio. I think I can safely say, at least in terms of the recent releases, I was rather impressed all across the board by everything that's going there and considering there such a big space to discover, you definitely won't feel that it's like a closed off environment. Really like the gameplay, smooth mechanics and some pretty cool addition with a remote control that interacts with various shops and items on the spot or even call an airstrike on your enemies. Same situation like in Population 1 that you get into the freer and drop off into the spot that I I think it's predetermined, but it was very hard to tell. Only knack might be that some resolutions in a very far distance won't be as details, but still you can recognize if someone or something is coming towards your destination. I will also say that visually it is very much enough and for a standalone version to support all of this is kinda nutty. It actually feels like a true battle royale game with somewhat realistic setting. There's really a lot of stuff going on, so you just need to sink in hours into it to discover its full potential, but this is essentially a peak of VR capabilities at this point and it's very nice to see a game that actually gets it and represents a decent level of gameplay on the platform. Let's go for the showdown! Hmm... This kinda reminds me of the land day of original contractors. In terms of like the textures at least. I know this is gonna be a big task. Because the devs aim it to be like... A kinda realistic battle royale. We only have population 1 which is like... More cartoony or like simplified version. So this is gonna be hard to accomplish like a real realism, but we'll have to see. <laughs> I think that's it. I thought I chose smooth turn. Oh, and the locomotions by controllers. Okay, I need to adjust stuff. For now, I think this is enough. So... In terms of the visuals, I mean... There is some graininess with the resolution in a distance. I can make out what's there. But I wonder how the players will look from far away. Because that's pretty much a crucial point in those type of games. That's smooth.
Okay, so it's all with triggers. Hey, the models aren't that bad. <laughs> I like the explanation of guns in general, because I don't think we've had that so far on that platform. Oh, we have a backpack, nice. It's like walking dead stuff. We also have quick slots. Wait, what? I don't even know what armor plates are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh wow. This is huge. Test if I can do it with my teeth. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what are the effects? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like all the information that I'm not gonna be interacting with now, but it's big. <laughs> Money? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. That is very cool. <laughs> it's like reminding me of worms somehow. So there are different types of boxes. Cool, like I'm very much digging it. Oh 
Oh my god, more stuff. This combining so many interesting things. Oh lord. <laughs> Well, at last we have airborne mechanics. <laughs> okay, well, I want to play immediately because I don't think I have that much time. Where the hell am I? Is this the main menu? Well, either way, I'll see where's the match. There is also a lot of interesting stuff with quests as contracts, then different perks when we go into the game. So there's so much more stuff what I expected. <laughs> We're chilling, buddy. My first game since the game launched. Let's do this. Well, hopefully it goes well. Yeah, I played the beta pretty extensively. How much have you played? Uh, some here and there, you know. Nice. Enough to know the basics. Well, I just got a win last one. Nice. I would say so then. I mean, I... I wasn't alive for the win, but I got the win. Okay, I just disabled it for the recording purposes. I think we were like... In a team of trio. So I have some starting stuff to aid me. I see my teammates. So there was an enemy. I'm gonna run around and see how the map looks like not necessarily gather stuff but this is running very smoothly like consistent FPS's maybe the resolution could be a little bit better but it's not like bad bad What the? Hey boys. Uh, oh, that was just a trial. <laughs> or was I thrown out? I'm confused. It seems like I'm being guided. So I guess... The first like, two minutes were... Free for all, but now it's the real actually thing. With no items, <laughs> cool! There is some rendering stuff, like, depending how far you are. Thank you! Oh, the laser sight, amazing!
Yeah, but I need like specific ammo for things. Of course. How do I see if I have? I mean, it will do something in combat. What are they doing there? <laughs> There's a vendor. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm lost. As usual. There is foveated rendering on the sites. I wonder if people see this laser sight. Sight so see people. It's not like I couldn't recognize them. Come here. <laughs> How they're shooting me? Well done. Guess that would be it. <laughs> It's essentially a short preview, but that's how Battle Royale games are. Although I do love the mechanics, like there are some really cool stuff happening and you need to kind of gather all the information available because there's a lot of stuff that we didn't really see before in that genre. The direct version of course would be to Population 1, but this seems so much more like maybe Ghost of Tabor mixed in with Contractors. This is like another entity. The gameplay mechanics seemed fine to me. I do like the idea of this whole apparition with the store, the airstrikes, like... If you're gonna be like a professional at this game, then you will kick ass here. <laughs> Graphically, it's not bad at all, like there can be some questionable resolution in the distance, but it's not like hindering the gameplay at all. And there is favorite rendering on the side, but you still kinda see what's happening. So it seems like everything's working properly here. Is this game for me? Not necessarily, like it's just not my taste, but the potential is here and you just need to play in order to discover what is out there. But that's goes with every game. <laughs>